Now that we have the discussion form completely set up, let's say it's our first week of our semester and we want to make this discussion form available to our students. So we're going to scroll down and uh, we'll make sure, of course, that uh, editing is turned on and we're going to scroll down um, and find our discussion form. There it is, grayed out, which means that we need to make it visible. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to show the discussion form. All right, so now we can go ahead and make sure, uh, we'll see what it's going to look like for our student. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different browser and log in as a pretend student. You can see that uh, I'm logging in, and this is what uh, a student would see in this course. Um, so I'm uh, in the course, and I'm scrolling down, and you can see that um, I'm not seeing everything that's been hidden, except there is my monitoring water quality discussion forum. So as a student, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, form, because I've been assigned this as homework. And I can see that uh, there is my first question that I want to respond to. And I can see there's the question from my teacher. And I can go ahead over here to the right-hand side and click Reply. I've gone ahead and prepared a response, uh, quoting the uh, USGS. And so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that into uh, the message for uh, the uh, subject responding to uh, replying to question one. Since I'm a student, um, I I'm going to choose to send me a copy of the post to this form so that I can see when others write back. And then finally, if I had any files to add, I could just drag and drop those uh, files to here, uh, Word documents, images, and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and click the Post to Form button located at the bottom of the screen. And uh, if I want to make any changes, I have 30 minutes to edit it to make changes. Um, I will see the uh, responses to uh, the discussion thus far. And I can change how I see the results. I prefer the uh, display replies in the nested form, but there are other three different uh, ways to display um, um, the responses, including um, the threaded form, which shows uh, the, uh, all the responses, the flat form with the newest first, um, the oldest first. But again, my preference is always to use the display replies in nested form so I can see the course of the conversation. Um, now that um, the student has responded, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my browser as the teacher. So you'll notice that um, up here in the right hand corner, I'm logged in as myself now. And when I click on the water fall, well, let me refresh the page. And when I click on the water quality discussion, I can see that it will show me the number of replies to the different questions. And so there's question one, um, and there is one reply. Thus far, if I want to see that reply, um, I can go ahead and do so. And if I wanted to engage in the reply or split the uh, replies up uh, to two different ones, I can I'll go ahead and do so. And that's as simple as participating in a discussion, a great way to keep uh, students engaged in the course material online.